Hey guys, happy Friday to everybody. I just wanted to pop on and share Monroe and share what she's wearing. I've had lots of questions on the little sandals. <laughs> and um, so I figured it's what a great way to quickly share with you what she's wearing and I'll share what brand the sandals are and also an update on my stroller. It has not been delivered yet. I was, it was supposed to be delivered yesterday, um, but it got delayed. And so now the updated delivery date is tomorrow. So I'm keeping all my fingers and toes crossed that it comes tomorrow like, like expected or like scheduled um, so that I'll be able to use it this weekend because it is gorgeous out, you guys. It is going to be up in the mid to high 80s by Monday. Um, and full sunshine literally all weekend long. Like you could not ask for a nicer Memorial Day weekend. And I'm actually off of work today and I'm off on Monday. So four day weekend, which is amazing and well needed at this point in time. So I'm very, very happy to have a little bit of time off. <laughs> but I wanted to share what brand those adorable tiny little knitted sandals are um so <laughs> i've had them for a really long time uh i ordered them i want to say easily like seven or eight years ago it might even be longer um i ordered them with another uh outfit that i ordered from the same brand so the brand is maybe is it maybe maybe m-e-b-i and they are the tiniest sandals, most delicate, beautiful sandals that I have ever had. Like I've had lots of baby shoes. I have other small sandals, but these are the tiniest. They are truly like the most delicate, beautiful little sandals. And I've never seen them since I bought them originally. I would have bought them in white had they offered them. And I believe I, I purchased them from the children's salon at the time. And um, they're cute. I wish I had more colors of them because they're teeny tiny and they, they fit Monroe. And she's, even though she's got chubby feet, they're, they're, they're typical small newborn like length. So a lot of uh, even newborn sizes tend to be a little bit roomy on her. Um, but these fit her like perfection. They are gorgeous. And they're in the shade of such a pretty pale pink that is also a favorite of mine. So it they tend to go with um, pretty much all of my pale pink knitted items from the same brand, which is what she's wearing. She's actually wearing an, a, a knitted romper from Maybe. Maybe? Maybe? I, I should try to find out how that's pronounced because that's a pet peeve of mine when people cannot pronounce things properly. So I try hard to make sure I'm pronouncing things in the right way. Um, but this is just a beautiful knitted romper that I've had for also quite some time. And when I was going through organizing the, you know, summer wardrobe of Miss Monroe here, I found that I've never put this on her. It still had tags on it. And <laughs> it's like going shopping in my dresser drawers because I forget I have things because I have things layered and this was at the bottom of the drawer. And, um, yeah, so I thought what a perfect time to put this on her and it is absolutely beautiful. It is the exactly same color of knit, um, that the sandals are. So it, you know, maybe it was meant to go with at some point in time because it's very similar in the way that it's stitched, but either way it's gorgeous. And this size romper is, I believe a one month size, zero to one month size, I think is how it's on the tag. Um, and it fits Monroe like perfection. Like this baby in this outfit is simple perfection to me. It's not overstated. It's not overly frilly. It's got two bows. They are attached. They're sewn on. And it does have some beautiful stitching, which I don't even know what you'd call that. I'm sure somebody can let me know in the comments. Um, and same with the detail around the neckline. It's just beautiful. And I'm a huge fan of wonderful, beautiful detail, attention to detail in fine baby knits and baby clothing. It's just something I've always enjoyed. It's something I've always 
been drawn to. And I, you know, my, my clothing tastes for Monroe have changed um, a bit over the last five years that I've had her, um, or almost five years, beginning of June will be five years, so pretty much five years. Um, and I've always had like a specific look for her, but my taste in the type of clothing that I buy has varied. Like, you know, I, I think I started off with a lot of jacquardie for her and the, it's just kind of had this up and down of different kind of looks that I want for her, but not always the real high-end jacquardie brand, but there are other high-end brands that are just more simplistic. And this is a perfect example of, it's not inexpensive, it's also not the most expensive brand to buy, um, but it is absolutely beautiful, beautifully made um, knits. And they do knitwear, they do cotton, they do blends of both. Um, I just, I, I really enjoy the brand. And this was purchased um, from the children's salon. Um, so that's usually where I get a lot of those Spanish knits. Um, I find that the children's salon has a nice range. So if you've never shopped there, um, they they do have very, they range from very affordable to very high end. I've shared this before, but I'll share it again because a lot of people ask where I get a lot of her outfits from. Um, but the children's salon I have found is such a wide range. Like they have super, super high expensive things that I would never, ever, 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 ever spend on baby clothing, even for a high, an expensive doll. Nope, nope, nope. That's not needed in my world, um, but they also have an outlet. So the wonderful thing is that if you look at the outlet, which you can connect through the same website, um, you can find like last year's summer items on sale for like half the price. It's wonderful. So you can pick up some really cute things. So if you don't have to have the latest current season, trust me, uh, you don't need them because you can't tell the difference. No one's going to really know unless they had it last season. And who cares if they did, if they did. But you can find some of these really beautiful high-end brands at a fraction of the price. And I'm just such a fan of getting something beautiful, but also for a really, really good price. And I got this a couple of years ago from the outlet. Um, and sometimes there's several, you know, there's multiple years of past things that stay in the outlet site until they sell out, I'm guessing. Um, so this might still even be available. I'm not even sure. I haven't been on it in quite some time, but I encourage you guys that are looking for beautiful clothing, um, but don't want to necessarily spend the money. I would check out the children's salon and go over to the, to their, to the door to their outlet portion of their store. It's it's really, you find some beautiful things. And most everything there is very, very good quality. Some of it may not be my taste because they have a lot of that overly done, overly frilly stuff that I've never been a fan of, not even, especially for like my living children or Monroe. <laughs> just not, no. I'm just not an overly frilly kind of dress my babies type of thing. It's just not how I've, I don't know. I just don't enjoy it. It's a little too done for me, but some people really love it. Some people love all the ruffles and frills and they have all of that. So they have a beautiful range of basics all the way up to super frilly, wide range of affordability, all the way up to super fancy and expensive. So you have such a range to choose from and it's a huge site. There's so many beautiful brands like it can take you hours and hours. You're never going to get through all of it. That's, that's how, that's how much and how many brands they offer. And they have the most lightning fast. They're in the UK, but they have the most lightning fast shipping I have ever gotten from anywhere. Like I usually get things within two to three days max. And they send a little, little thing of candy with like, they do the star mix, um, the Haribo star mix gummy candies, they send like a little package in every order, which I freaking love because I love those gummies. <laughs> I won't lie. Um, a little addicting. But anyways, my point is that I'm not, I'm certainly not getting paid to promote the children's salon. However, I do like to share my experiences of, of where I like to shop. And I'm also a fan of fast shipping because when you order something online, I was saying to one of my friends that we have no children's or good baby stores near me. Like I would have to drive to New York City, which is like five, approximately five hours, five and a half hours away from me 
to even remotely find something worthwhile that I would buy something from like Jacquardy or baby cottons or, you know, boutique places like Saks Fifth Avenue. Like those are the places I, that I would love to be able to walk in the store and see things before I purchase it. However, I don't have that near me. Our local mall is slowly dwindling because everything has shifted to online. So there's just no good baby store. So I like to share where I like to find things and I get them fast so you're not waiting forever in a day because there's nothing worse than ordering online and then it takes them a week just to do the getting prepped for shipping type of lengthy time frame. Like that annoys me. I, you know, my order is placed, you have my money, get it sent out. Come on now. <laughs> I don't like to wait. I'm an impatient person. Um, so yeah, the children's salon, check it out. Or if you're just looking for something different that you haven't, you know, you're looking for something unique that you, is out of your normal purchasing for your babies, highly recommend. And they have toys, they have buntings, they have beautiful, like, they have beautiful blankets, like I, the all of the Minuta stuff that I've gotten all came from the children's salon over the years. Like, they just, they have a ton of stuff. They, I think they even sell pet bottles and pacifiers, diaper bags, you name it, they've got it. So check it out if you're interested. Just wanted to share that with you, but uh, mostly I just wanted to show you her. <laughs> like I said, I look at her. I look at her in this outfit specifically. Like you, you love them in things, and then you somewhat like, ah, eh, you'll put something on them. Like the last outfit you guys saw on her, I was like, meh, I'm over it. It's like I couldn't wait to get her out of it. Um, but then I find something new that I just haven't seen her in, and it's like simply perfect, simple perfection, however you want. It's just, this baby is pure perfection to me. Like I look at her and now that it's summertime, I get to see more of her skin, <laughs> which I love, which I love. That's the joy of having a full body silicone is to see their silicone, see the painting, see the beautiful artwork. And this is the time of year I get to see a lot more of her <laughs> and not feel like she's cold. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you have a fantastic weekend to everybody out there. I hope you're having gorgeous, amazing weather and you're doing something fun this weekend. And when the stroller comes tomorrow, fingers crossed, I will be sharing that with you too. Guys, I'm just so excited. Rose gold. I'm going to say that again. The stroller is rose gold. I cannot wait to see it. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. So anyways, guys, until then, enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.